friends and neighbors, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is another Whole Truth broadcast coming to you from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith, with headquarters located in downtown Philadelphia at 22nd and Bainbridge Street. The Honorable Bishop S.C. Johnson is the founder, pastor, and general overseer, and he invites you to keep tuned to these broadcasts and hear from his mouth the one and the only plan of salvation by which everybody must be saved. with us as Elder D.J. Mills shall lead us in prayer. Father, Lord, in Jesus' name, again we thank you that thou spared us, even blessing us and permitting us again this night to assemble in thy precious name. We pray, Lord God, that tonight that thou would bless some honest heart somewhere, yea, someone that's seeking and desiring to be delivered from the power of sin and Satan. We pray, O oh God, that thou would let him hear your servant, Bishop S.C. Johnson, one whom thou hast raised up in these last and evil days to declare thy word unto this wicked and adulterous generation. Now, Lord God, we pray thou bless the sick and afflicted, bless the destitute and the needy. We pray, O oh God, thou bless those that are incarcerated in penal institutions. Send thy word unto them, save them, and heal them from their destruction as thou hast did of old. Now, Lord God, we pray that thou bless those here this night, bless those in Radio Land, and we'll praise thee, we'll honor thee, and give thee the glory. This and all other blessings we ask is the glory of our God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. you're in tune to the great Bishop S.C. Johnson radio broadcast. And tonight our broadcast is coming to you from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith with headquarters located in downtown Philadelphia at 22nd and Bainbridge Street. The Honorable Bishop S.C. Johnson is the pastor, founder, and the general overseer, and he invites you to keep tuned to these broadcasts and hear him make plain the truth of the Bible. Bishop Johnson has written for your information many interesting booklets such as our whole truth booklet that you've heard us talk about so much that is the whole truth booklet that answers 21 burning subjects concerning the bible many are confused about the godhead some think there's one some two some three but to know the truth of it write to bishop sc johnson for this booklet that has in it the truth of the godhead not only the godhead but many interesting subjects including uh, the Sabbath day, whether you're to keep the Sabbath in this dispensation, tithe paying, feet washing, communion, Cain's wife, and many other subjects that has confused the religious world. Bishop Johnson has took, taken the time to write this booklet for your information. That's a whole truth booklet that sells for just 25 cents, or either you may write to him and he'll send it to you free upon request. We also have our monthly publication Whole Truth magazine that comes out monthly, and uh, this sells for 35 cents or for a year subscription. Write to Bishop S.C. Johnson, and he'll give you the full particulars about the Whole Truth magazine. Then there's another timely pamphlet called "Is Jesus Christ the Son of God Now?" Many are confused about this, whether he's the Son of God now or whether he isn't. Well, Bishop Johnson will 
put you straight on this very timely subject. Jesus Christ, the Son of God now. Is he the Son of God now or isn't he? Write to Post Office Box 3880, Philadelphia, 46, Pennsylvania, and receive this interesting literature. Of course, if you don't have the money, Bishop Johnson will send it to you free upon request. You that are in the area of Philadelphia, continue to keep tuned to station WDAS every evening from 7 to 8 p.m. That station WDAS in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and then visit our headquarters church located at 22nd and Bainbridge Street. You in the area of Washington, D.C., you're invited to keep tuned to station WUST every evening from 5.30 to 6.30. That's station WUST in Washington, D.C. And then visit the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith located at 1230 C Street Northeast. That's 1230 C Street Northeast, Washington, D.C. If you'd like to visit other churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, write to Bishop S.C. Johnson for a complete listing of the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ that are scattered throughout the United States, Canada, West Indies, and London, England. We're not going to take time to call out the several churches, but to get a complete listing from Bishop S.C. Johnson, he'll be too glad to send it to you. The Philadelphia Radio Senior Choir is going to sing for you. I want to hear him say, well done. Neighbors, you're in tune to the Bishop S.C. Johnson 
radio broadcast. Don't forget to keep tuned in your particular areas, Washington, D.C., station WUST, from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. every evening, and on Sunday morning from 9 to 10 over our affiliated station in Alexandria, Virginia, station WPIK, and then in Philadelphia every evening from 7 to 8 p.m., station WDAS. Visit the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ in Philadelphia at 22nd and Bainbridge Streets, and Washington, D.C., 1230 C Street Northeast in the nation's capital. Now, from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostolic Faith, we present unto you again in person the Honorable Bishop S.C. Johnson, the world's foremost minister, Bible analyst, and authority on the divine inspired word of God. Next voice, Bishop Johnson. One, 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 one way. One, 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 one way. One, 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 one way. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. We're endeavoring to acquaint you with the church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. We want to let you know what it is and when it started and where it started and that all of its doctrine is backed up with the Bible. Amen. All of it. Now it's no other church can talk like this. And if this wasn't the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, then I couldn't talk like this. But I'm able to say that this church carries all of the gospel and all of it is backed up with Bible. You've heard me say many things. I'm sure you've heard my broadcast because I see you here. Amen. You've been listening. And uh, I've said many things. And I haven't told a lie. I said uh, uh, some time ago, a uh, man talk as much as I talk. And don't lie. You know, most people say when a man talks so much that uh, he's got to lie. Here's one talker plenty. Amen. And I haven't told a lie about nothing. Amen. Told the truth about everything. Amen. And if you call my hand about anything I preach, I'll go right to the Bible and back it up. Bible chapter and verse, I won't fumble around, won't take me long to do it. Well, there's no other church is able to do that. Yeah, man. It's no other church able to do that. I don't care what kind you call now. Right away, I'll find a flaw in that doctrine. Huh? I'll find a flaw, and any time you find a flaw in it, it's no good because it's not wholesome. Now, in the sixth chapter of First Timothy, I want you to hear me. I want you to hear what the Bible says. And this is the truth of God coming to you now, giving you a chance now to save your soul. 
I don't care what church you belong to, you're in a false church. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I tell you? I say, regardless of what church you belong to, it's a false church. And your pastor or your bishop or your overseer is not able to stand before this gospel and show you with the Bible that he has been preaching the truth to you. Mm -hmm. Not able to do it. I, I'm just passing through on my way back to Philadelphia. I hope and trust to come back this way in the near future and be able to sit down a while. Thank God. Amen. In my different places. <laughs> sit down where I can open it up and yeah. pick it apart. That's right. And then answer everybody. That's right. The reason I'm down here now, I went to Galveston, Texas. Yeah. I went down there at the Church of Christ, you know. I've been debating them, and of course, while I was away, I understand they were raging, raging some terrible here in, in Chattanooga. And, and I heard of the preacher that was here, the church of, uh, so-called Church of Christ preacher. I had him more than once and beat him sufficiently. And I don't lie. Amen. And when he got here, he threw out a whole lot of smart talk. And of course, uh, I have a brother here uh, told us about it, and I sent uh, one of the brethren down to the station, and I got his ticket. And I sent him his ticket to the brother, and told him the to ticket to him, and come to Philadelphia because I was busy at that time, and live up to his talk. He sent me that ticket back. <laughs> I told him I would pay his way back home. He didn't want that. No. Wasn't well, nothing but big talk. That's all. He sent me the ticket back. Amen. And of course, they got together. We have, we have defeated them and all over, in Chicago, in St. Louis, in Detroit, in Pittsburgh, in Miami, Florida, in Tampa, and uh, all over. Mm -hmm. I defeated them for years. They was called the greatest debaters under the sun until they run in on me. Mm -hmm. So uh, they got together, and they had them in Galveston, Texas. They had one man there named Mr. Charles Wallow. He sent to me and said that if I would come down there, he would pay my way. See, they wanted to get some victory. They thought some way, somehow, we'll get some victory. If we can get him down here, and of course, they said I will pay your way down here and back. And uh, I want you to be here. So he went, tell me he got the uh, preacher out of 15 different states, and I had them there Monday night. I flew down Monday and uh, had them there, I guess, 40 or 50 preachers. Yeah. I guess they thought they would excite me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more, the better for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So then I stopped his mouth. Now somebody said, why, well, he'll say anything. It might be some Church of Christ folks in the house. Hey, he'll say anything. I don't lie. Amen. And I got it on tape mm -hmm. right here now. Mm -hmm. I made him say what he didn't believe. That's right. Uh, he said it was three distinct persons in the Godhead. Of course, there's no Bible for that. No. Ain't no Bible for that. Bible is for one. That's right. Or the Bible says in Colossians 2, no. 9. Mm -hmm. For in him that's right. dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead body. Right. So I stopped his mouth, and not only I stopped the mouth of all were there. Now I got it on tape, and I defied any of them to lift a hand in favor of the gospel they've been preaching. And I did, and I double did. We got it right here. Mm -hmm. And I did. And I doubled that about up of the 50 so-called Church of Christ preachers to raise their hand in favor of the gospel they've been preaching. And don't you know not one of them would raise their hand? Why? They had preached a lie. Mm -hmm. They said three distinct persons in the Godhead. And God said something different. That's right. From what they say. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now, uh, read that first uh, sixth chapter. Then I'll fall back on what I said. Sixth chapter first. 
Timothy. In the sixth chapter of First Timothy, uh -huh. beginning at verse three, I want to show you if it's a flaw can be found in your gospel. It's like finding a fly foot in your bowl of soup. Mm -hmm. You don't want that soup no more. No. You won't throw the foot out and drink the soup, mm -hmm. will you? No, indeed. No, you don't want none of it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the fly consists of more than foot. Mm -hmm. And if you throw the, throw the foot out, mm -hmm. the next thing you might get him. True. So, uh, hey man, you say I better get rid of the whole bowl. Yeah. Then I know I won't get him if I had not already got him. That's right. I won't get him. Mm -hmm. Now, when you got a gospel that can be condemned with the Bible, it is an unwholesome gospel. That's right. And hear Bishop Johnson now. I'm here in person. Hear me now. It isn't a church in Chattanooga. It isn't a church in the world is able to take the Bible and stand up to the doctrine. No. You'll find a flaw in it. Mm -hmm. You'll find something in the doctrine not in keeping with this. Yes. Huh? That's right. And that doctrine is damnable and hell bound and everybody that stay in it and practice it is going to hell with it. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Ghost brought one thing yeah. down from heaven right. for everybody. That's right. Huh? That's right. Or well, the Bible say, one Lord. Yes. Don't it say Amen. Amen. How many faith? One faith. And how many baptisms? One baptism. How many faith you got here in this city? <laughs> then it's alive somewhere. Mm -hmm. How many faith you got here in this city? I'm persuaded that you got two and three churches sometime in one block. Mm -hmm. It is in some city. That's right. In New York City, right down from my church, there are five churches in one block. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. And they all got different faith. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, one Lord. That's what I preach. Mm -hmm. I preach as one Lord and Jesus Christ is he. Right. I preach as one faith. One faith. And that's the faith that was once delivered to saints. Right. I preach one baptism. That's right. Hear me? And that's water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Now I'm ready tonight to give away a 60 Cadillac. <laughs> I'm ready to give away a 1960 limousine, seven passenger, air conditioned, telephone equipped mm -hmm. Cadillac mm -hmm. with a $50,000 check. Mm -hmm. If it's a preacher in Chattanooga, <laughs> can give me Bible. Where anybody, hear me good, were, were baptized anywhere in the Bible, and it's recorded, mm -hmm. like the preacher's been doing it for more than 1,500 years. Mm -hmm. Hear me good now. Mm -hmm. If you can find where anybody were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. Were. That's right. Don't, don't call my chant in Matthew 28. Nobody wasn't baptized then. No. Jesus said, Jesus said, go here therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name That's it. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yes. And the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Get me good. I want to make it plain to you so you can run for your life. That's right. Because if you die without this baptism, you're going to wake up in hell. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I don't want to run over it. And be in a hurry, I want to open it up and make it plain to you. Yes. Understand? Yes. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father right. and of the Son mm -hmm. and of the Holy Ghost. Right. Preachers that were not called of God and not sent of God misunderstood God yes. That's right. and took in the water and called the title and left off the name. Mm -hmm. Now you have a father, don't you? Yes. Ain't no use asking me that. Just tell you you got one. Because mm -hmm. I know you got one. <laughs> huh? That's right. He's your father because he begets you. Mm -hmm. Is that his name? No, indeed not. He is a son, that same man, because he was born of his mother. Mm -hmm. 
his son his name? No. No. He is a husband because he married a woman. His husband his name? His father, son, and husband, that man's name? No. Huh? And it's the same fella. Mm -hmm. It's not three different ones. See, the preachers didn't know what they, they was talking. They was, no. Didn't know what they was talking. Same fella. His son in birth, husband in marriage, father when he begets you. Now, if you were going to deposit some money tomorrow in the name of that son, husband, and father, what would you tell that banker, the teller, when you went down there and said, I've got a hundred dollars I want to deposit? He said, what name, please, wouldn't it? That's right. That's right. And you would say, son, husband, and father, wouldn't you? No, no. Huh? I didn't understand you. What you said? <laughs> Why? Not his name. See how dumb the devil made the preacher? Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He was Father in creation. He, that same one, was Son in redemption. Mm -hmm. And that same one is now, right now, Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost in the church. So how many is it? It's one. Right. But the preachers is contending that it's three. That's right. That's a lie. Amen. Ain't no three, the same one. That's right. But he had three manifestations. Right. Because he made the word when he was an eternal spirit. Right. And when we sin, he come down and took Mary a virgin and made a body from her body and she was with child and still a virgin. Mm -hmm. You know it was of God. That's right. Huh? Amen. You know that was of God. Yeah. Never woman been with child and still a virgin. No. Never will be either. <laughs> huh? No, so when he was born here, he was born God manifested in the flesh. Right. When he died and went to the cross and come back and then ascended on high, then on the day of Pentecost he come back and started this church yeah. that I'm now preaching That's about. Right. Then what was the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Jesus Christ. That's right. But the preacher not being called and sent of God, hear me good. The preacher not being called and sent of God, instead of doing what he told them to do, you know what they done? They used the title and left off the name. That's right. Now, it's not a Bible, not a scripture in the Bible. It's not a scripture in the Bible where anybody took one in the water. And the preacher's been doing it for more than 1,500 years. But it's not a place in the Bible. If it is, I'm going to give you that 60 Cadillac tonight and a $50,000 check if it's a preacher in the building or Bible scholar that is able to give me Bible chapter and verse where any such baptism ever was performed in the Bible by any apostle, amen, or prophet, or Jesus, anywhere, he'll get a 60 Cadillac and a $50,000 check tonight. Mm -hmm. Before you go any further, now you got a lot of preachers here in this city. Call them up and ask them to give you, please, that scripture. That's right. Where one was baptized, right like they've been doing That's right. for more than 1,500 years. That's right. Because as a man here, you can get $50,000 mm -hmm. and you'll divide it with him. Mm -hmm. And if that don't interest him, I'll, I'll raise it. Mm -hmm. I'll give a hundred thousand. Amen. Amen. Then you can give him fifty thousand for telling you where the scripture is. That's right. And where anybody ever was baptized like that. That's right. And you can have fifty thousand. He has fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. And of course he won't have a car to ride in and I'll give him a sixty Cadillac. That's right. So I'll give out two sixty Cadillacs and one hundred thousand dollars. That's right. Now you ought to slip out your and call up the preacher. Mm -hmm. <coughs> slip out, huh? yeah. Right now and call Slip out and call him. Yeah. I don't run my mouth to be running it. Amen. I'll stand behind what I say. Amen. When I say it's not a church in the world right, and not a preacher living is able to stand behind what I've been preaching, I'm here to stand behind it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, everyone, the preachers and everybody else, 
has got to be baptized in water if you want to save your soul. Yeah. Well, if you ain't studying about your soul and want to go to hell and stay there as long as God Almighty live, then that's your business. But Jesus said, mm -hmm. except a man is born again of the water right. and of the Spirit, say he won't get in the we'll kingdom. In. That's it. Didn't it say that's so? That's right. He won't get in the kingdom. So then you can bear in mind, if you don't care and studying about your soul, then ignore this. Mm -hmm. But if you want to be saved, then you've got to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, like you did on the day of Pentecost when this church started. That's right. And be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And then live a life for God's glory. Yeah. Don't everybody will have to go to hell. That's right. Huh? Yeah. All right. What's yeah. the Bible saying here? In the sixth chapter of 1 Timothy, Hear me now. verse Hear me. 3. Uh-huh. If any man teach otherwise, if any man teach contrary to what the Bible teach, and consent not to wholesome words, and don't consent to wholesome words, even the words <laughs> of our Lord Jesus Christ, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, and to the doctrine which is according to to godliness. He is proud. <coughs> What's the matter with it? He is proud. He is proud. Knowing nothing. Hmm? He is proud. Knowing nothing. You believe that? <coughs> that he's proud? Mm -hmm. The Bible says he That's is. right. Now, <coughs> Jesus said, except a man mm -hmm. is born of water. Read it. In the third chapter of John, yes. verse 5, <coughs> Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Yes, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit. Are you listening? He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, it's only one baptism for this dispensation. <clears throat> and that's water baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the way they did it when this church first started. Mm -hmm. That's the way they did it. Read it. In the second chapter of Acts, yes. verse 38. <coughs> Then Peter said unto them, Here's when the church first started. And this is the only church it recorded here in the Bible Nine. with its doctrine. And Peter had the keys yes. of the kingdom of heaven. All of these other false churches started since the day of Pentecost. Right. All of them. Mm -hmm. You can't find the record of one of them in the Bible. Amen. You can't find a record of one of them in the Bible. Amen. But those money hunters mm -hmm. picked the Bible up yeah. and got you together yeah. and lied to you yeah. and made merchandise of you. Yeah. And here now, I'm calling the hand. That's right. Hmm? That's right. I'm calling the hand, and not one of them can talk. I was in New York City. I have a big church there on 116th Street, Fifth Avenue, if you ever there visit. And I was there and I put out 50,000 of these seconds in the city of New York, offering a reward of $500,000 to condemn one thing I preach. And you know, we got plenty of preachers in New York City. Mm -hmm. For a reward of 500, that is to prove what I say is the truth. That's right. You know how many showed up to get it? <coughs> One. <laughs> and I was upstairs in my apartment, and they yelled up to me and told me, the man come for the reward, I tell him, say, tell him I'll be right down. And before I could get on, he was gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, where is it? Say, he said he was in a hurry. <laughs> but I'd have sat there a month. That's right. For $500,000. Mm -hmm. But hear me, friends. This is a God sent to you before you pass, before you pass from time into eternity. 
It's a God sent to the world. Mm -hmm. You know, God told me to get on the air, and he told me to get on the air because he had given me something for the world. Yeah. Yeah. Now this broadcast is going into Germany, going into Africa, London, England, into France, into Rome, Italy, into Ammon, Jordan, down in Asia, covering the West Indian Island, covering Honolulu, covering practically uh, the whole world. What is he doing? He's getting ready to come back the second time. Right. And he said, this gospel of the kingdom must be preached. Yes, huh? that's right. Into all the world. To what? Into all the world. For what? Witness against them. Then that shows you this gospel had been preached. It was not the gospel he was talking about. Because that uncovered the world. Mm -hmm. And he ain't thought about coming. No. Until he sent this gospel. Yes. When this gospel reaches the end of the earth, you look out. Your sweethearting time will be over. Your television time will be over. Your beer drinking, your number playing, your lying, your divorcing, your dancing, your wickedness, all will be over. And he's going to dump everything in hell that failed to live holy. Yeah. Hear me, friends. Hear me, we are sending you this broadcast free of charge. We haven't tortured you. <coughs> They sent us a dime, and we won't. Amen. All you have to do is keep tuned. But this is the gospel sent down from heaven. This is it. And you is going to give an account. The world <coughs> is going to give an account to God for this gospel. Mm -hmm. Peter said to them, because he had the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. He said to them on the day of Pentecost, when this church started, yes. repent. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Then say, raise your hand and bow your head and accept Christ uh, as your personal savior. Where, where you at? Uh, make a decision for Christ. None of that damn devil snuff. That you ought to join some church. You ought to belong to church. That's somebody hunting money. That's right. He don't tell you how to live, but yeah. he's hunting money. And uh, he'll bring you, pray upon your sympathy. Yeah. And tell you you ought to belong to some church. Mm -hmm. And of course, you'll agree, you'll agree to that mm -hmm. and join the church and still live like the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. And tell the devil it's, it's filled the world full of false churches yes. and got people in it on the way to hell. But listen to what this says. Mm -hmm. Then Peter said unto them in the second chapter of Acts. Yeah, we back up what was said with Bible. Verse 38. Yeah. Then Peter said unto them. What? Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Everybody that hear this is going to stand in hell as long as God lives. Mm -hmm. For hearing this and rejecting it. Mm -hmm. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That means everybody in the world has got that to do. Mm -hmm. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, the preacher for more than 1,600 years been taking them in the water and said, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's different from what Peter said. And Peter had the keys of the kingdom because Jesus gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And then Peter's understanding was open according to the 24th chapter of Luke. That's right. That he might understand the scripture. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. And he said, repent and be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. Yeah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Read on. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off. Yes. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yeah. And with many other words that he testify and exhort, saying, What? Save yourselves from this untaught generation. Yeah. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Did you hear that? They that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Now then, everybody's got to be baptized like the scripture says. Mm -hmm. See, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is no name. No more it's your father's name. He's father, son, and husband, but his name is John Brown. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Jesus is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but his name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So you've got to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and get the Holy Ghost. Other than that, you'll be eternally lost.
When you've been in hell a million years, you just got there. Friend, this is a godsend. I'm not profiting, and neither am I proselyting. I'm not profiting. I'm not going through the country hunting money. I'm hunting you. It's a godsend to you, a gospel that nobody can condemn it. Right. Even though it's not like mm -hmm. with all the broadcasts that I've sent forth here in Chattanooga, this night, this place ought not to hold it for. Mm -hmm. But what? <laughs> they don't want it. That's right. They're just like they was in the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Until the flood came. That's right. And caught them outside of the ark. Mm -hmm. And everyone drowned. The devil has deceived the people. They're smoking, they're drinking beer, they're watching television, they're boasting, they're marrying, they're doing everything under the sun. Praise God and going to false churches and the false prophet is justifying one when he die and preaching right into heaven. That's a lie. Nobody never went to heaven. Nobody. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I mean the third heaven. Mm -hmm. Nobody never went to the third heaven but Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. But I'll tell you a lie, the folk believe a lie, and my God, it's sad. It is very sad to know how the false prophets are locking souls up in a Christless grave. Yeah. And when Jesus come and the day of the resurrection, you got to come out of the grave and go on to hell. The preacher's got to come out and go to hell for lying. That's right. Huh? That's right. The digging got to come out and go to hell for sitting under the preacher. That's right. The members got to come out and go to hell because here's the word of God That's here now. That's right. Telling you what? Then Peter said unto them, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, repent, and be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. That means everybody in the world, including everyone in here. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. In what name? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. Uh -huh. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you can find another baptism in the Bible for this dispensation, then I'll give the reward. Two Cadillacs, six. If you don't want the six, I'll wait until the six to ones come out. They'll be out this month. I'll give you a six to one. Mm -hmm. Then I'll give you $50,000 apiece. And if that isn't enough, I'll give you a hundred thousand apiece. Mm. That's right. I can stand behind my gospel, can't yeah, That's right. It isn't another preacher in town would give me two dollars to <laughs> condemn what he told that's me. That's true. Because he knows it's condemned before he gets done. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this to wake you up that you might save your soul. Now, everybody that ever heard me and don't obey what I say are lost now. Mm -hmm. Because the Apostle Paul said in the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians, mm -hmm. that if I have a gospel be hid, hid to them that are lost. If you can't see what I'm preaching, mm -hmm. then you're lost. Are lost. That's right. Not going to be lost now. Eh? That's right. So then, hear me. Never was but three baptisms in all the Bible. I'm going to name them. Mm -hmm. That's all. The first one was Moses. Mm -hmm. And the next one was John. Yeah. And the last one is the one I'm preaching. Right. Peter. That's right. You can't get Moses. You can't get John. You can't get the one Peter and, and myself preach. You can get that night. We got clothing here for men and women. You can be baptized tonight and tire and get the Holy Ghost and save your soul from hell, if you will. If you're not interested in your soul and don't mind going to hell, then I'm not mad with you. That's entirely your business. That's right. But I'm warning you so that you won't be able to go into eternity and say, oh, if I'd have heard it, if I'd have known it, I'd have obeyed it. You won't be able to do that. That's right. You'll just go in there and say, I heard it, I didn't believe it, and didn't obey it, so I'm going on in hell now and burn as long as God lives. Folks, it's a sad thing. Mm -hmm. Friends, it's a sad thing to burn in hell as long as the spirit lives, and the spirit is never going to die. No. To burn in hell. Now, this is outlined. This is made plain. So then, if you believe a lie, you're going to be damned. Just like the 
Mr. Charles Waller, he said that Jesus Christ was not God, and he said it from the three distinct persons in the Godhead. That was a lie, and the people rejoiced when he said so, mm -hmm. rejoicing over a lie. Jesus Christ is God. Right. The Bible says in uh, John 20, 28, mm -hmm. they said Thomas confessed. And Thomas answered and said unto him, What? My Lord. My Lord. And my God. Thomas was talking about Jesus. The Bible says so. Yes. And then Jesus come on himself yes, in did. Revelation 1, 8. Mm -hmm. And notice what he said about himself. In the first chapter of Revelation. Yeah. Verse 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Him. And not, they also which pierced him. Not they cometh in cloud or with cloud, but he cometh with cloud. Yes. Uh -huh. And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Yeah. Even so, amen. Yeah. I am Alpha. Jesus is talking here now. I am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. The beginning and the ending. The beginning and the ending. Saith the Lord which is. Saith the Lord which is. And which was. And which was. And which is to come. And he's the one that's coming. The Almighty. Jesus said he was the Almighty. What you say? Mm -hmm. Did he lie? Did Jesus tell a lie? He said he was the Almighty. And we yes. certainly don't have no true Almighty. No, indeed. If we got two Almighty's, give me a Bible for it tonight and get this reward mm -hmm. for five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Get the reward if it's two Almighty. You see, the devil has made everybody believe a lie, and everybody that believes a lie are going to be damned. Mm -hmm. The Bible says no. Amen. Everyone that can believe a lie are going to be damned. So he said Jesus Christ was not God. The Bible said he is Lord and God. Lord and God. He said Jesus Christ is not God. The church, that's the church of so-called Church of Christ doctrine. Mm -hmm. That Jesus Christ is not God. But Jesus Christ himself said he was the Almighty. Yes, he did. They said Jesus Christ is not God. But Isaiah said in Isaiah 9, 6, mm -hmm. he is the mighty God. In the ninth <laughs> chapter of Isaiah. <coughs> Read it. Beginning at verse 6. Read it. For unto us a child is born. That's Jesus. Unto us a son is given. That's Jesus. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. That's Jesus. And his name shall be called Wonderful. That's Jesus. Counselor. That's Jesus. The Mighty God. That's Jesus. The Everlasting Father. That's Jesus. The Prince of Peace. That's Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now whose mouth are you going to take? You going to take Bible or take that lying mouth? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Take their lying mouth. Jesus said what? He that believeth on me. As the scripture. As the scripture has said. Yes. Huh? That's right. Now the scripture said he's the mighty God. Yes. Says he's the almighty. Almighty. Didn't he? Yes, it did. Say he's Lord and Lord God. Lord and God. Huh? That's right. Now if you want to save your soul, deliver yourself from damnable doctrine. When they bring forth that doctrine, they say you don't speak in tongues. All the Bible say they don't believe it, and all the Bible don't say they believe it. Yes. Huh? That's right. Say, don't, you don't speak in tongues today. That's them out. Mm -hmm. I, give, I give them the reward if they give me a scripture that says you don't speak in tongues. But Jesus said, in the 16th chapter of Mark, listen to what Jesus said. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but yes. he that believeth not shall be damned. Yeah. And these signs shall follow them that believe. What? In my name shall they cast out devils. They're going to cast devils out. They shall speak with new tongues. They say you don't speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. But Jesus now you shall. Yes. Who you going to believe? Jesus of them? Who? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. They say you don't wash feet today. Mm -hmm. In the 13th chapter of John, mm -hmm. beginning at verse uh, 13. Yeah. Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. Yeah. If I then, your Lord and Master, listen at this, have washed your feet. You know the Master washed his disciples' feet? Yes, he did. Huh? That's right. And he said to them, If I then, if I then, your Lord and Master, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, have washed your feet, ye also uh -huh. ought to wash one another's feet. You know what they say? They say you ought not to wash feet. Mm -hmm. And Jesus say you ought to wash one another's feet. That's right. When you follow a damnable doctrine like that, be sure you're going to wake up in hell. Mm -hmm. 
Ye that said ye ought to watch one another speak. For I have given you an example. I have given you an example. That ye should do as I have done to you. Huh? That's right. They say you don't speak in tongues. Say you don't wash feet. Say you don't play mechanical instrument in the church today. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. And no scripture. If you give me one scripture that says you don't play mechanical instrument in the church today, in the church worship today, get the reward. Mm-hmm. Don't have no Bible for that damnable doctrine. And I've stopped their mouth. I dare them in in uh, Galveston and double dared them and dared everybody to raise their hand, amen, to condemn what I was preaching and justify what they believed. And they were very obedient. About 50 or more preachers, more or less, sat there and couldn't move because that doctrine is damnable. Now, here's, a, here's your privilege. You don't have to. This gospel is going over anyhow, and everybody that don't accept it is going to hell. I'm not the loser, and God's not the loser. But since he made you here for his glory, he's got you here that you might hear the truth at my mouth, which cannot be condemned. On the day of Pentecost, after the day of Pentecost, after the church started on the day of Pentecost, all the false churches that you see now broke out after the apostles preached the gospel and wrote it and handed it down to us and died. All of them broke out and all of them are false. And if you check up on the doctrine, it's damnable. It's nothing like the Bible. Now, I'm sure if you are honest, you don't want to meet God with something that's not like the Bible. You wouldn't want to get an FBI to change a, a counterfeit $10 bill for you. Mm-hmm. Would you? You'd put it off on some dummy. Mm-hmm. But I say, here's an FBI over here. Go there and let him change it. Round the corner you'd go. Huh? Now, I said that to say this. You got a counterfeit, damnable, hell-bound doctrine. If you don't get all of it, Mm-hmm. like they got it on the day of Pentecost. Now, Paul said that I might be the minister of Jesus Christ ministering the gospel of God. That's what I'm doing, and that's the reason my gospel cannot be condemned, because I'm ministering the gospel of God. Yes. I'm ministering the gospel of God, and the gospel of God is tested and backed up with the Bible. Yes. You understand? Yeah. When you got a good ten dollar bill, you'll carry it anywhere to be changed. But if you got a fake ten dollar bill, you won't pass it to anybody. You'll catch somebody in the street and you he better not have looked too sensible at that, because you'll be afraid of him, but if you see one don't look sound. Mm-hmm. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. Say so maybe he ain't sound. I get him, I said, my father just died, I want to make a phone call, will you please change $10 for me? And you give him a $10 bill that isn't worth the paper it's written on, mm-hmm. and get two good fives or ten good ones, and round the corner he's gone. Mm-hmm. But that was a fool. That's right. Eh? That was a fool, but he ain't going to give it to a sound-looking no. man. Amen. A sound-looking man is not going to do it. Now the devil has put it. What he preached that allowed you to do anything, and when one die, put him in heaven, that's all you want, and you'll sin the more. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, you better run for your life. Everybody. Amen. And I sat here again before this thing closes that the world has got to hearken to this gospel yeah. that broke out on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. There is one God, it's not three, and one baptism, it's not any. There's one faith, it's not many. Mm-hmm. The Bible outlines it perfect, yes. saying it's one Lord. Right. We don't try to worship three. My God, I can just worship three. Hmm. With all this one told you. That's right. Huh? That's the truth. How can you have all faith? 
when it takes all you can to live this one. Mm -hmm. It's one baptism for you. It's one faith for you. You understand? One baptism for everybody. And that baptism is in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Apostle Paul met him, he asked him, have they received the Holy Ghost That's right. since they believed? Mm -hmm. They said, we haven't heard where they be. He said, how were you baptized? They said, under John's baptism. They said, under John baptism. Then said Paul, John really baptized with the baptism of repentance. What? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. It's not this, friend. That is on Christ Jesus. Yes. When they heard this, what did they do? They were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's what you ought to do now. That's what everyone ought to do tonight. Amen. If you can't get to the water tonight, get there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have water here. Mm -hmm. Well, I am in clothing too. Mm -hmm. The Bible said when they heard this. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When they heard this. When they heard this. Now you hear it. When they heard this. They were baptized in the name of the Lord in Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Everybody that hear this, including the preachers, the diggers, the trustees, the members, the kings of the earth, and the dog catchers, has got to obey this. If you don't obey this, friend, 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 it'll be an awful thing in hell. It'll be an awful thing in hell. I'll say to you tonight, run for your life. Cut off your pleasure. Cut off your lust. Cut off the pride of life. Cut off everything now and live a life for God. So you can save your soul. I'm glad to have had the privilege Bring to you tonight this one plan of salvation by which everybody must be saved. Hearken to what I say.